People around the world are starting to realize that it isn't just about the money. A lot of the time, the reason that we want to make good money is so that we can live a certain lifestyle. And then the reason we wanna live that lifestyle is because we think it's going to make us happy. But sometimes in the pursuit of happiness and making money, we end up burning ourselves out to the point where we aren't happy at all. And we end up in a situation where we were less happy than before we started trying to get to that lifestyle. So a lot of people around the world are starting to put more and more value on work-life balance. While we're pursuing our professional goals, we also want to enjoy our lives. Now, everybody's different. This is gonna be more important for some people rather than others. But in this video, I'm gonna give you a list of careers that have excellent work-life balance. And some of these careers I have never mentioned before on the channel. And all I ask in return is that you uppercut that like button like Mike Tyson. All right, so let's get into it with the very first one on the list, which is going to be government jobs. All right, I wanted to start the list off with government jobs. Um, this is very general. There's a lot of different government jobs out there, but most people who have either worked with the government, contracted with them, or interned with them know exactly what I'm talking about. Government jobs are known for being super, super chill. Okay, I've done internships with government agencies, and a lot of the time the people will do like one hour of work per day, and then the rest of the eight hours they're, you know, on Facebook, reading articles, getting errands done, paying bills, etc. And of course, there's always going to be exceptions, but for the most part, government jobs tend to be very chill and have really good work-life balance. They also tend to have good benefits and the pay is really good as well. So yeah, government jobs, really chill, a good one to look into. Next one on the list is going to be for a particular type of person, and that is an extrovert. Somebody who likes to talk to other people all the time, you really wanna be social all the time anyways, this is a great career for you, and that is real estate agent, right? So real estate agents, in case you didn't know, they basically help to facilitate the buying and selling of houses. And if you look up real estate agents on Glassdoor, you're gonna see they make about $136,000 a year. And at the entry level, there's about 35,000 results on LinkedIn. Now, the reason this one has really good work-life balance for somebody that's extroverted is because part of the job of being a real estate agent is basically just being really well known in your community, right? So the best real estate agents out there are typically very well known, they're very social, outgoing, they talk to people all the time in their community. And so if you're the type of person that would be doing that anyways, you might as well become a real estate agent so that when one of your friends or one of your acquaintances wants to buy a house, they know who to go to. But with that being said, if you're an introvert, this might not have as good of work-life balance. It is pretty intense and it does require quite a bit of work. Next one on the list is going to be statistician. For some reason, I have a lot of trouble saying that word. But yeah, it's somebody who does statistics for a living and they make about $99,000 a year on average. And on LinkedIn at the entry level, there's about 14,000 jobs. So yeah, this is another one, relatively chill, has pretty good work-life balance, can be a little hard to get your first job, but once you get your foot in the door, you get a few years of experience, you're pretty much set for life. Next one on the list is going to be web developer. Now this is one that's sort of like software developer light, probably the easiest type of software development that you can learn. And obviously it's going to be doing the coding behind Behind websites and they make around $107,000 a year. And according to LinkedIn, there's about 128,000 web development jobs at the entry level. So yeah, this one is relatively chill. A lot of jobs in the technology industry you're gonna notice are on this list. Technology is number one in just about every category out there, including work-life balance. Okay, the technology industry is just totally OP. It's incredible when it comes to pay, work-life balance, job satisfaction, just about anything that you look at, it's either number one or at worst, it's like number two or number three. Next on the list is gonna be in the finance industry and that is going to be financial advisor. So this is somebody who advises people on what they should do with their finances. So you might advise people to put your money in an index fund or a mutual fund, or maybe you advise somebody to invest in real estate, for instance. And according to Glassdoor, financial advisors make about $105,000 a year. And at the entry level, there's about 35,000 financial advisor jobs. So yeah, this one is kind of a little bit like real estate as well, where you're sort of just just like interacting with people and you're sort of like known in the community. A good way to get a lot of business is to just do a really good job with one person. And then, you know, they go tell all their friends that, hey, oh, you should, you know, meet my financial advisor. He did a great job with me, you know, and that's how you build your business. Very similar to real estate. Next one on the list is going to be a recruiter. And this is somebody who actually recruits people to fill positions for companies. How would I describe myself? Three words, hardworking, alpha male, jackhammer merciless.
And if you are able to fill that position, you typically are going to get some sort of compensation. And sometimes recruiters can make like $10,000 for filling a position. So this can be very lucrative if you're good at it. However, according to Glassdoor, recruiters make about $76,000 a year. You can make a lot more or a lot less depending on the industry that you're in. And LinkedIn does have 206,000 results for recruiters at the entry level. So there's a lot of demand for this career. So yeah, not the most difficult job in the world. I mean, it's kind of as hard as you want to make it. If you want to work harder, you'll probably end up making a lot more money. But yeah, it's a job that has a lot of work-life balance. You're, there's not somebody like breathing over your shoulder all the time. You have a lot of initiative. You can do sort of what you think is going to be the best move. And of course, a Shane Hummus video would not be complete without mentioning software developer, probably the most OP career out there. $109,000 a year, 175,000 jobs at the entry level. It is difficult to learn. It's not the easiest thing in the world to learn. It's also somewhat saturated at the entry level just because it's so good and so many people know that it's good at this point. So you really do have to know your stuff in order to get a job. Next one on the list is going to be information technology. And this one's not a career. It's like a cluster of a bunch of different careers basically, but you typically start off in a help desk type role. But in general, information technology makes about $82,000 a year. Year. And if you type in information technology at the entry level on LinkedIn, you're going to see 181,000 results. This one has very, very good work life balance. Okay. I have friends in information technology. A lot of them will work like one or two hours a day and then they're done for the day. And then they're just kind of sitting there on call waiting for somebody to email them. Of course, not all jobs, like I said, right? I, you can't speak about all jobs, but a lot of them out there are like that. Another one that's very similar to information technology and has similar work-life balance is going to be cybersecurity. So cybersecurity is pretty obvious. It helps companies protect their data, which data is more valuable than oil or gold. I've talked about that on this channel quite a bit. And on average, cybersecurity makes about $96,000 a year. There's 59,000 jobs at the entry level. So yeah, really good one. Uh, protecting data is really important. And oh, speaking of data, the next one is going to be data analyst. Data analysts are the ones that are analyzing that data that the cybersecurity people are protecting. So data analysts make about $95,000 a year. And there is a whopping 242,000 entry level jobs on LinkedIn. So yeah, data analysts also have great work life balance. It's another one of those careers where, you know, you are going to be working, but you're not going to be, you know, have somebody breathing down your neck. You got all these crazy deadlines or anything like that. It is relatively chill. Next one on the list is going to be owning your own business. Now this one does have sort of a caveat, right? So owning your own business can be incredibly frustrating and incredibly stressful at times. Times. But with that being said, the great thing about owning your own business is you always are the one who says whether you can take time off or not. So, you know, I own my own business and if I want to go on a vacation, like one of my friends says they're, they're flying in and I just decided, you know, I didn't have to ask anybody. I just decided I'm going to go visit him. I'm actually going to do this in about two or three days. And I could not do that if I was working a job. So yes, I do work long hours. I work really hard, but I love my work, but I choose when I work and when I don't work. So in that way, it does have a really good work-life balance. Next one on the list is going to be digital marketer. And out of all of them on this list, this one might have the best work-life balance. So digital marketers essentially to a business owner are like wizards, right? Business owners have no idea how any of the what the digital marketer does works. They just know that the digital marketer is bringing in a bunch of leads and customers, which is translating to money. So whether you spend an hour a day monitoring your ad spend, spend or eight hours a day monitoring your ad spend, they don't care as long as you're bringing in a bunch of customers and bringing in a bunch of money. So I have heard over and over again that digital marketing is one of those careers that has great work-life balance. If you want to have a super chill career, you can do that. If you want to work super hard and get lots of promotions and make more and more money, you can also do that as well. It's very flexible. Now, digital marketers make about $84,000 a year. And if you look it up on LinkedIn at the entry level, there's 105,000 results. Now I've interviewed a bunch of people on this channel that have actually gotten jobs in digital marketing and they sort of reveal exactly how they do that. And spoiler alert, it's all through this course that's owned by my friend Seth. Seth gets amazing results from this course and he created a free masterclass, which you can check out. I'll put it down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. It'll basically go over what digital marketing is, the different digital marketing verticals, and if digital marketing is a good career for you. And I'm also going to put one of my favorite interviews right here so you can check that out and I will see you next time.